Hi Aries and Arai here, gonna do a quick reading for you guys. Not putting on my Florida water today on camera for the sake of time. This is gonna be a an Aries quickie. Spirit, what messages and guidance do we have for Aries, please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Aries, please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Aries, please and thank you. I'm having a little resistance here. All right. Messages and guidance for Aries. Mm. This is the hardest one I've had to do so far. Ooh. So the strength card, this is you having the courage and being strong enough to get through whatever it is, having the strength to be vulnerable when needed, um, having the strength to have unconditional love. This is the Hierophant card. This may be you dealing with challenges in regards to your belief system, but this could be some of you being strong enough to decide that you want to marry somebody, especially after, after the fear of losing your independence. You have to think of somebody else once you get married, not just yourself. And I feel like somebody's dealing with that, but I feel like that they're finally coming to terms with the fact that that's the person they have the passion for with the knight of wands this is the person that allows you to move to the beat of your own drum they're not trying to own you they just want to partner with you and live life with you alongside of you this is seeing things from a totally new perspective this is about pausing Taking a deep breath, being still. It's, all, it's also about letting certain things go, like maybe a certain way of being. And then I have the Knight of Pentacles. This is about staying grounded and being patient, not rushing. Maybe you need to have less of that fire energy and more of that earth energy to where you're grounded. I feel like what this actually means is the person that you're interested in marrying, for those of you that are interested in marriage, that this person is actually going to ground you and make you slow down. This person is also going to make you forget about any regrets that you may have. There's not going to, you might actually be afraid to get married because you're afraid that you may have regrets with this person. And I feel like that's not the case. You're too focused on what you've been through in the past instead of looking at what's available to you in the future, which is going to be stability with the King of Pentacles. Also, this is a, a passionate beginning. You and this person can start a business and you're not listening to your intuition and you need to focus and listen to your intuition. That's what I have for you, Aries. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And until next time, love you.